this is lesson 3.4, solving linear systems by substitution. Uh, when we're solving a linear system by substitution, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the point of intersection, just like we did when we were graphing. Um, however, instead of graphing, we're going to do it just by using algebra. So in order to do it, we have to follow six steps. So we're going to break each question down step by step um, and find the solution. Then I'm going to give you a chance to practice right next to our completed example to see if you can follow the steps. Our first step is to isolate. We're going to be doing example one where we have our two lines 3x plus 2y equals 12 and 4x minus y equals 5. When we're looking to isolate, we're looking to isolate for either x or y. We want one of our equations, not both, just one, to say either y equals or x equals. And the easiest way to do that is to pick an equation that has x or y by itself already. So we're going to choose number two. And the reason we're going to choose it is because it has a minus y term. It has a y almost already by itself. So then we're going to isolate for that y. We're only working with this one equation. And to do it, we want to get y by itself, but we want positive y. Since we have a negative y, we're going to start by moving the negative y to the other side to get positive y. And then we're almost isolated for y. We've just got the 5 in the way, so we're going to move it to the other side and make it negative. And now we've got something that says y equals. And I'm going to highlight it with yellow. We just built a y equals. That's the isolate step. Now again, you don't have to do it for both equations. You just have to pick one and they could say x or y equals. Step two is the substitute step. We're going to take what we just figured out y equals and we're going to substitute it into the other equation, the one that we didn't rearrange. The equation we didn't rearrange was 3x plus 2y equals 12. And if you notice, this equation has a y in it. But now, because we rearranged the other equation, we know what y equals. So instead of y, we're going to write what it equals, which is 4x minus 5. So the equation isn't going to change. We're just going to change what it looks like. We're going to change the y into 4x minus 5. 3x plus 2, but instead of y, 4x minus 5. And that equals 12. So all we did was we replaced the y with what y equals, 4x minus 5. So, so far, two steps. Isolate, make one of the equations say x or y equals. Substitute, replace the letter you isolated for with what it equals. Step three is solve. In step three, we rewrite our substitute. And now we're going to solve for our only letter, which in this case is x. Now we don't have x's and y's, we just have x, and we have an equation, so we can solve that equation. Our first step in our solve is always going to be, I'll write the steps over here, to rainbow. That's called expanding in math terms. We're going to rainbow whatever number was in front of the bracket. So we're not changing the 3x. 2 times 4x is 8x, and 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. So now we just have terms. So let's collect like terms. And collecting like terms, we decided usually we'd like the letters left, numbers right, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just put all the letters on the left because they're already kind of already there. And we'll move that number to the other side. So we've got 3x plus 8x equals 12. 
plus 10. Move the 10 to the other side. We make it positive. So now we can put the like terms together. 3 plus 8 is 11x. 12 plus 10 is 22. And now we know 11x equals 22. But if we're solving, we want to know what 1x is. So we divide that 11 away. And we end up with x equals 22 divided by 11, 2. I'll box that. I'm going to make that. Collect like terms. After we collect the like terms, we simplified. And then step four, we solved. So now we know what x is. We know x is 2. But when we're solving, we need to know x and y because we're going to make a point at the end. So how do we find the y? Well, I'm just going to scroll up a little bit here. Step four says substitute the value, we just got two, back into either of the original equations and solve for the second letter. Tip, choose the simpler one. Well, if we go back and look at the original equations, we made one of the equations say y equals. That's the simplest one, because if we want to know what y is, well, it says y is just four times x minus five. We just figured out that x is two, so y is just 4 times 2 minus 5. So we're going to use that. We're going to sub x equals 2 into y equals 4x minus 5. We're going to take the answer we just got and we're going to put it into the equation that we made at the beginning for y. And that way we're going to be able to solve. How do we do that? Well, y equals 4x minus 5. We know x is 2, so it's 4 times 2 minus 5. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 5 is 3. So y is 3. And now guess what? Now that we know what x and y are, we have our answer. So I'm going to skip all the way down to step three, step six here. It says conclude our answer is a point with an x and a y. Our x is 2 and our y is 3. Now, once you find your point of intersection, 2, 3, you can check it. And the way you can check it is you can take your x and y and put them into both equations and see if it balances. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Our left side of our first equation, way back up to the top, our first equation was 3x plus 2y equals 12. So that means if we do 3 times x plus 2 times y, we should get 12. Well, let's see what we end up with. 3 times x, x is 2, plus 2 times y, y is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 3 is 6, we get 12. And that's the right side. So our answer works in our first equation. Let's check the second equation. Our second equation is 4x minus y equals 5. Okay. So our left side is 4x minus y, and we're aiming to get 5 as our answer. So let's see. Our answer for x was 2, so it's 4 times 2 minus our answer for y is 3. So it's 4 times 2 minus 3, and we're looking to see if this is 5. So 4 times 2 is 8 minus 3, 8 minus 3 is 5, we're good, because 5 is the right side. Alright, so <clears throat> this is an example of substitution. 
So what I would suggest you try now is see if you can do the practice example following the exact same steps. Before you try it, let's think about what letter we're going to isolate for. We want to either make a y equals or an x equals. So we look at both equations, first equation, second equation, and see if there's an x or y by itself. It looks like we have x by itself in the first equation. So we're going to choose 1 because of the x term. So we're going to make this equation say x equals, and then we can follow the steps for substitution. Now, one thing before I say the video is done. Step 5, check. When you do a left side, right side check, that check isn't really part of doing substitution. That's something you could do at the end to see your answer. So if I was going to flip these steps and say step 5 is the conclude and step 6 is the check, I might do that as well. The check isn't always mandatory, it's an optional step. Our goal is to get this answer at the end, the 2, 3, and that comes from doing step 3 and step 4. All right, so you give one a shot, and then there's practice questions uh, in your uh, homework book. And thanks for watching, 3.4. I'll see you for 3.5.